Let's see what you become. Vars is evolving. Let's see what it is. Another evolution, but Chansey is normally a bulky Pokemon. It's kind of weird how it evolved into another giant puffball. <laughs> All right, let's see what Vars actually is capable of. All right, let's see what you are now. Oh my God. Oh, wow. This Chansey is a Lucario. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at those moves. Oh my gosh. Cloud Nine eliminates the effects of weather. This thing can't die to sand or to hail. <laughs> All right, let's see. Was this worth it? Was it worth evolving a level 10 Pokemon? I did not realize you were this weak, Scoodles. But you know what? Maybe your evolution is God tier. Let's see. It can't evolve anymore, and a golem is usually pretty good. All right. Let's see. Is golem worth it? This could be, depending on the typing and all the other stuff. Soundproof. Uh... You know what? Yay for the trans rights, but nay for the typing and the ability. I'm sorry, Scoodles. You're a beautiful creature, but you're getting boxed. Oh, what the heck? Hello. Wait, why are you here? Have you seen this guy with a black cape? He has been going back and forth between here and the Lake of Rage, saying strange radio waves are being transmitted. Who is he, I wonder? I, I don't know. Oh, is it that weird guy that's going after Suicune? I genuinely do not know. It's just a souvenir shop. Nothing suspicious about it. No need to be alarmed. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I just noticed the antenna there. Okay, well, let's see what's in this totally not suspicious souvenir shop. Wait, is this legitimately a souvenir shop? Huh? You heard wind blowing into this room? That is just me whistling. Enough about that. Why don't you buy something? Uh, okay. Tiny mushroom pokeball and potion? What? Is there anything else I may help with? What? No. Please come again. This is weird. The experiment worked like a charm. Magikarp is just worthless, but Gyarados are big money makers. I am so confused as to what is happening. Okay, well... Oh, wait, what? Hey! Hiya, kid! I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try a yummy rage candy bar. Right now, it could be yours for 300. Want it? Sure. I mean, it's totally not weird. Wait, no. Do I want this? I don't know if I want this or not. Like, stranger danger. I don't know this guy. I don't know what is in that candy. Hello. This is not Halloween. No. Oh, fine then. Oh, he's... He, is he not going to let me pass because I don't want to buy his stupid candy? Wow. All right, fine, fine. I'm gonna go against what my parents taught me and I'm gonna buy candy from a stranger. I obtained the Rage Candy Bar. Cool. Key items? I remember a person from as far as Kanto came to buy one a long time ago. I happened to have none in stock then. That person left rather upset. I felt kind of sorry for that. Who the, what the frick? I can't progress? I don't want to accept you after buying one for me, but buying a Rare Candy is, uh, Wait, Rage Candy Bar has nothing to do with whether I'd allow you to pass through here. Jojo has many places to visit, such as the Lighthouse in Olivine and the Pharmacy at Cyanwood. Why don't you slow down and enjoy sightseeing? The game is literally trying to pull a Legend of Zelda on us and is telling us to go to these locations when we've already gone to those locations. What the crap? <laughs> Fine. I guess we'll just go north. This, I believe, is a new route. So, encounter time, route four to three, I am ready. There is someone to battle, and I want to battle you. Bam, bam. I can do so much with my Pokemon, it's super fun. I don't know if I believe you, kid. An Elekid, okay. This thing is a flying type. I remember it because there was an Electabuzz that was a flying type. It had uh, Peck and Brave Bird. 
Do I stay in? It would do neutral damage. I don't know if this thing would know Brave Bird or not. I have Ice Fang, but I'm not 100% certain, and I'm kind of scared. I don't know if Steel also resists flying. We are a fighting type, so it would do neutral. But if Steel does not resist flying for some reason, then I'm I'm just backing out. It's just an Elekid, so I'm not too worried about it, but better to be safe than sorry. An electric rock type? Okay. Uh, let's go for a mirror shot then. I think this will KO it. Yeah, let's go. Still got a good amount of XP for just for <laughs> for basically killing a baby. Oh no! <laughs> well, that's gonna be some good XP. Uh, ain't no way I'm staying in against it. But I would like a Celebi, please. Huh. That's kind of terrifying. Uh, definitely gonna send in Zen for this one. <laughs> Alrighty, Zen. You know what to do. That's a, dr a dragon type Celebi. That would be super cool. And it's super effective. Is this an electric type? Is this the same thing as Dragonite? It's either an electric or it's fire. Well, actually, there's a lot of things that it could be. That only gave 136. Boo. A Gibble. Aw, oh, Gibble's actually really cute uh, for a pseudo-legendary Pokemon. I actually remember um, Ash's Gibble um, being super adorable with uh, Draco Meteor when it was trying to learn that. That was just super cute how they animated that. Um, but it's kind of terrifying to think that Ash technically has a pseudo legendary. He just has to evolve that Gibble into a Garchomp. And then he would, let's see, he has that. What other pseudos does he have? He technically in the new season, he has a Dragonite. Um, Lucario is kind of a pseudo legendary, but also not. Um, his Gengar can Gigantamax. Ash's team is kind of OP, now that I think about it. He's got a lot of really powerful Pokemon. There should be no way that he lost in any of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, he has a Gudra as well. Well, technically... Well, does he, though? I mean, technically, he caught it. He never released it. But it's not like it's back at Professor Oak's lab. Oh, my gosh. It's a dark type. Or not dark type. It's a <laughs> ground type. Um, I don't know why I said dark type. My brain kind of farted there. Yeah, game, our Jigglypuff evolved into an even bigger Marshmallow. But this bigger Marshmallow is kind of broken with its abilities and its typing. I hate to say it, game, Lucario got fat. <laughs> Lucario got real fat. All right, let's get our encounter. Come on, come on. Oh, wait, oh, I should probably swap in someone else to take the lead. All right. Give us something catchable. Wait, I have Pokeballs, right? No, yeah, I do, I do, I do. Bronzor. All right, not bad, not bad. I don't want to hurt this thing. I don't think I have anything. It's only a Bronzor. Maybe a Pokeball will do it? Yeah, Merc, you're still alive. Welcome. And Mewplan, hello as well. How are you doing? Welcome. Gosh dang it, I messed up everything. I'm going to go for Headbutt. I, if it's a steel type, I think we'll be fine. Oh, it's dead. Whoops. <laughs> I messed up. All right, well, there's our encounter, folks. Do I need to start swimming here in order to get to the lake? Like, when do I know that I'm at the lake? I don't want to mess up this Gyarados encounter. I'm pressing F for Mega Roomish. Yeah, that that was sad. It, it was really sad to see Mega Roomish go. But in actuality, it did make things a little bit more fair. Um, because truth be told, having a Wonder Guardian Pokemon like that made it so that we really could not lose unless there was a random chance that they had a Ghost or a Dark type move. The Pokemon that we caught did, and that Pokemon that killed it is not on the team. Mainly because its evolution was garbage. <laughs> Do you have any rare Pokemon? 
Uh, possibly? I don't know. I don't know if these Pokemon count as rares or not. A Zubat. I don't think we've actually encountered a Zubat before. I'm pretty sure... Wait, oh, that's level 20. Uh, if that thing's a better type advantage over me, I'm gonna send in Mix. Better to be safe than sorry. Because if this thing is a fire type, I'm dead. If this thing is a flying type, I'm dead. I might have been okay with an electric type. It would have outsped me, though. I'm pretty sure. So I'm kind of glad that I did that anyways. Boom, boom. Let's go. All right. 115. Not enough, unfortunately. An x -Bloud. Ooh. I loved x -Bloud, man. I didn't really use it on the team because it was a normal type. But I loved x design. I loved Wizmer, I loved Loudred, and I loved x -Bloud. Honestly, like, pre-Gen 4, it's probably my favorite normal type. Uh... Signal Beam? It went for Reflect. Maybe this will be super effective? <laughs> you gotta love when you get to read the Pokemon like that. I butchered the words there a little bit, but you know we're just gonna move on with our existence. <laughs> oh, that's gotta be a level for Mix. Let's go! Ooh! That would have been such a good encounter! I love Seraptor! Damn! Ah. Oh. Staraptor is just essential for any Gen 4 playthrough, specifically the Sinnoh region. It's such a cool Pokemon. Oh, I'm glad that I swapped there. Uh, just to see if it has any other typing. It's definitely a fire type. Okay, so that does neutral. Still KOs it. All right, only one Pokemon. A Torkoal. Oh, we fought a Torkoal. I don't know what the Torkoal is, though. Oh, we legit fought one on one of the previous routes. I don't remember what this thing is, though. Something tells me it's weak to ground. It is neutral to ground, but it's dead anyways, thanks to a crit. I don't think that was necessary, but I will gladly take it. Nice, Var's got a level. Oh, wait, don't give us a level. Don't give us a bullet punch. Ooh, that's better than Doom Desire. That is 100% better than Doom Desire. Um, is it actually, is it though? I might get rid of Rolling Kick. Rolling Kick's accuracy is not good for that damage. Uh, so either, either I keep Doom Desire or I keep Rolling Kick. I'm not gonna use either of those moves though, truth be told. The Lake of Rage. What is this? Hello? Fishing Guru's house. <gasps> Give me a better fishing rod, please! Hi there. Lake of Rage is actually a crater. Blah, blah, blah. Do you have a better fishing rod? You stuck. Okay. Um, one quick question. <gasps> there it is. There is the shiny. Let's go. The shiny. I'm closing my eyes. Oh, okay. It's a Murkrow! It's a pink Murkrow! Let's go! Okay! I'm not gonna be able to evolve this thing! <laughs> it's a shiny board! Okay, uh... I do not have any weak moves. Uh... What are the odds? First shiny, first premiere ball? Let's go! Come on, come on, please just get caught Murkrow. One, nope. I can evolve it with a Dusk Stone, but how how easy is it to get a Dusk Stone? I thought I couldn't get a Dusk Stone until I go to the Kanto region. Oh man. Oh, it's another 3,000 in the Poke Athlon. Well, crap. Okay, I might be doing another Poke Athlon thing then. All right, I need to lower this thing, but I'm a little bit afraid to. What move did it go for? I did not pay attention. Assurance. Is that a dark type? 
Oh, I don't want to replace Mix, though. Mix has been so good. Oh, gosh. Okay. Heal bell. A bell chimed. There. Perfectly fine. It is in the red. This is our... This is our moment. If there was ever a moment to catch a shiny Pokemon, it is now! Come on, please! I want you so badly! One, two, three! No, you tease! That is so mean. No abs, no abs, no abs. We just throw the Ultra Ball. No abs method this time. One, two, three! <laughs> you are an incredibly rude Pokemon. I do not know why your catch rate is so low and your evolution is so difficult. But I am not giving up on this. Please, Ultra Ball. Just please, 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 please. I'm, I'm just going to close my eyes and I'm going to listen for the shakes. It just broke out immediately. This Murkrow is mean. Throw a premiere. Uh, it's the only premiere we got. I'll throw it. I'm going to try it with the abs method, too. Whoever designed Murkrow to have such a low catch rate deserves to only ever use a Murkrow on their team, and they are not allowed to evolve it. Ever. Abs, please! You're a special little one, Murkrow, please! Please, one, two! Oh... <laughs> Your defense is already high enough. You don't need more. Oh, please. All right. We're going to build up. We're going to build up. Pokeballs. Only Pokeballs now. Abs! Maybe you just want a regular Pokeball because you're a regular Pokemon. Ah, it hurts. It hurts. Uh, out of all of the shiny encounters I could have received, out of all of them... It's a Murkrow. Like, I'm pretty sure Rayquaza has a higher catch rate than this thing. That does not make sense. Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, please. Please. <laughs> not even a shake, man. Like, come on. Uh, I'm not going to be lucky enough to catch this thing. I am literally going to waste all of my Pokeballs trying to catch this shiny Pokemon, and I'm not even going to be able to catch it. And I'm going to be so sad that my first ever shiny encounter ever, it's a guaranteed shiny, and I'm still not going to be able to catch it. I am so sad. Uh, please, come on. I need this, please. One, two, muff. <laughs> All right, just just get inside it, please, please, please. One, two, three. Yes! Yes! Shiny caught! I've got a shiny! Let's go! I'm so happy right now. You're just a pure poison type. Oh, and I'm not going to be able to evolve you in forever. Oh. Well, I'm not going to use it because it's not dual typing, unfortunately, as dumb as that sounds. Or should we use it? Uh, I'm nicknaming this moment. Uh, that red Gyarados wasn't acting right, as I feared. Somebody must have forced it to evolve. Did you come here because of the wild tales? You're Jer. I'm Lance, a trainer. Wait, Lance from the Cancer region? Oh, I did not expect to actually see you here. Hi, how are you? I heard some rumbling, so I came here to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Jer. I could tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Uh, sure. Excellent. It seems that the Lake of Rage's Magikarp are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast came, 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 I can't talk. Coming from Mahogany is probably the cause. And that suspicious souvenir shop. I'll be waiting for you, Mahogany, Jer. 
Whoa. Bye, Lance. So I think this is the Pokemon guy? That red scale. What's that? A red Gyarados? That's rare. I, I want it. Jared, would you care to trade it? Oh, oh, finally. Finally, the experience share. That's how you get it? You have to get that red scale? Oh my gosh, that is so dumb. I guess we just go in here. Whoa, hello. Dragonite, Hyper Beam. Wait, what? Oh my gosh! Did Lance just Hyper Beam a human? Is that guy dead? You all right there, buddy? What took you so long, Jer? Just as I thought, that strange radio signal is coming from here. Okay, do you need to hurt these people? I, oh, okay, he just got out of the way. The stairs are right here. What? <gasps> this is not a normal shop. Jer, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. Bye, Lance. Buddy, are you okay? Uh, that guy's dragon type Pokemon, a chef. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, this is their HQ? Interesting.